Harriet Webb Pierce. <laughs> you to be sure and stay tuned in to us, but right now, here's a special message. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, you said it, Judge. Let her go, boys, and we certainly gonna let her go with any hill of singing a song. Come on out here. Yes, no, what's up, buddy? I'm just as nervous as a one-eyed man at a burlesque show. Better let's do what we call that same old reef, yes, sir. about a salesman, I guess I would call him a fireball, but I'm not talking about a salesman on this trip. I'm talking about one of our greatest comics, and I'm speaking of a hot rod. That's Rodney Brassfield! <laughs> The truth, that's the most pitifulest thing that i ever seen in my life. Now, what's that? Like? Well, I was on my way up here, Mr. Webb, a while ago, yeah. and I passed the cemetery. 
Oh. And there was a feller there kneeling down by a grave, and he was saying, Oh, why did you die? Why did you die? Why did you die? And I walked up to him, and I said, He touched me, you know. Yeah. I <laughs> said, I said, well, who, who is it, your mother? He oh. says, No, wasn't my mother. I, oh. He wasn't says, Oh, brother. why did you die? Why did you die? Oh. I said, Was it your father? He says, No, it wasn't my father. Wasn't why it? did you die? Why did you die? Oh. I said, Well, who in the cat hair was he? He says it was my wife's first husband. <laughs> I never will forget the first time I'm having trouble. I come here, Will. I want to talk to you. All right. You know my gal Susie. I've heard a lot about her. I I, I love that Susie. I know. Oh, that. she's a booger boy. I'm telling you the truth. I love her. I never will forget the first time I met her. I was working in the drugstore. See, mm -hmm. I was a soldier jerk. Yeah. Well, I was quite a jerk there, <laughs> working there. She come in there, she and two other girls, and and uh, one of them says, give me a Coca-Cola, and I fixed it for them, give it to her, you know? Yeah. The other one says, give me a, a coca or something like that. I don't know what she said. <laughs> I give it to her, and then I turned to Susie, I says, what do you have, ma'am? She says, give me a double. <laughs> <laughs> I says, what do you have, ma'am? She says, give me a double. <laughs> So I fixed her a nut Sunday. <laughs> She's got a little old brother. He's just about that high. The meanest little old dickens that I ever seen. I reckon he, every time I go over to see Susie, he'll do something to me if I don't give him a nickel. Oh, yeah. yeah, and lots of times I don't have no nickel. <laughs> In fact, most of the time I don't have no nickel. What do you do? Well, I went over there last Sunday to have a date with her there, and, and uh, he done something to me. He did. Yeah, we, me and Susie went out and he he knew where we was going to sit on the settee out there in the sitting room. Yeah. In the, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, where you sat in the spark at. <laughs> well, sir, he got one of them great big old bill posters packs about that long. No. Put it in that settee and had the business end of it up. <laughs> me and Susie went out there and sat down and I popped down on it. <laughs> What happened? Now, Webb, well, you're talking about taxes on your real estate and automobiles, brother. You wait till it hits your personal property. <laughs> you got that. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's nothing like always having a few uh, jokes with a little sense of humor that is from Rod Bracefield. Right now... We're going to add a little charm to the program. We're going to bring a young lady out here as one of the finest. So let's make welcome Miss Rita Robbins. Rita! <laughs>
think we ought to get the square dancers, the grand old air, up the square dancers here and have them do a little dance, and I think we'll just join it. Okay? Yeah, we will. square dancers. You know, one of the things that we always try to do is sing the songs that the people request most. So, here's one that we have an awful lot of requests for. It goes kind of like this. That stands the glass That will my name That will settle my brain It's my first one to take Just a minute, but right now, here's a special message. Well, it's time now to bring the number one fisherman out here, a boy that can catch more fish than any of the rest of us in the business. So let's make him welcome. He's a great guy and a great star. Let's make Blue Children welcome. Hey! Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Nothing like adding a little fresh air from the Southland to this here little ding ching here. The best fiddle is the gold, and the music is the way sung by George Bennett Dance. Hey. Rattle to me. Hey. Well, see, here's one I used to do when I was a little bitty fella. I want to try it here, see if I can make it. are still very nimble. So, that's <laughs> awfully wonderful to have him on our program. Now, let's make welcome our kind of a reporter type of a girl, that girl that can give us all the news down in Grinder Switch, Cousin Minnie Pearl! Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, Hi. 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 I'm just so proud to be here. I've got a secret I'm going to tell you. I ain't going to tell nobody else. Not a soul. 
<laughs> it's about my feller. You know, I've got a feller. I'm going to hold on to him, too. They ain't no more where he comes from right now. <laughs> <laughs> he was over at the house last night, and we were sitting on the double settee in the front room. It's me by him and him by me. We just sitting there, just one by each, and each by the other. <laughs> oh, it's just sitting there. <laughs> and I want you to know that it would have been the most romantic cool thing on earth, except for one thing. Just one thing. We got a great big old hall. Grandfather clock stands about four or five axe handles tall against the wall, and it ticks slow. Every time my fella comes over to keep me company, sound like that old clock saying, take your time, take your time. I want to get one of them fast ticking little clocks. So get together, get together, get together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to sing now. I'm going to sing a song here, and old Lou Children, bless his heart, he's one of the limberest old boys of dancing, and I can't do as good as he does, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to practice this minute here and see now. Let me tell you, don't y'all do nothing yet, and wait a minute. By the name of what you call jealous hearted me, please, fellers. And about the gear, see. <clears throat> you cannot have my cover, you can have my team, and you let my feller be. I'm jealous, jealous hearted me. I'm just as jealous as I can be. Now I've got a man and a bulldog, too. My man don't fight, but my bulldog, do. I'm jealous, jealous hearted me. And it certainly oh. is so. Cousin Minnie Furrow, it's always good to have you on our program. And right now, let's make welcome the top duo of the country. Some boys that certainly have earned their place. Let's make welcome Johnny and Jack and the Tennessee Mountain Boys. Good night, good night, good night, good night, sweetheart. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Tennessee Mountain Boy. Here is the top guitarist in the country, 
So let's bring him out and have him play a tune. Chad Atkins. All right. <laughs> gathered here today, I guess we might as well get together and sing a song. Let's all gather around and sing this one called A Black Eyed Tuesday. Let it go. Black Eyed Tuesday, what is this time to ride? The bitter go to leave behind. Oh, ho. Black Eyed Tuesday. Hey, hey. Black Eyed Tuesday. Oh, ho. Black Eyed Tuesday. Well, I ain't so pretty and I ain't so cute. Don't be me a baby. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Thank <laughs> you. 